Hi all, bit different for me this, but I thought I'd jump on and just give a few thoughts ahead of this weekend's boxer card. Headlined, of course, by the heavyweight clash between Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark for the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles. Uh, I think this is another solid card from Boxer. Uh, the volume and the output might not be that high, but the quality certainly seems to have improved a little bit on what we've seen previously. This is a, a really solid card. I like the fact they've gone on a Sunday again. Obviously, it's a bank holiday weekend, so it makes it extra special. I think the main event is, is an intriguing one. Uh, I probably favour Fabio Wardley going into it, and I'll do a full review, which I'll upload uh, over the weekend. But I think you know, his confidence has grown over the last few fights. The way he sort of took David Adelaide out uh, at the back end of last year was really impressive. Fraser Clark hasn't impressed, impressed me massively since he made his pro debut. He's had a number of fights um, that haven't been against particularly high-quality opponents. I think this is a real step up in class for him. Uh, it's a bit of a make or break for him as well. He's 32 years old. If he loses a British uh, heavyweight title fight, where does he go from here? So it's a really intriguing one to see. I think personally, Wardley gets the better, and I think he either wins on points or he stops him late. On the undercard, a couple of fights just to give a quick mention to. Marku against Congo, I think, is a really good fight. I think that either ends early for Marku in the sense that he, he sort of his volume and his output just overwhelms Congo and he gets the victory, or I think he gets dragged into deep waters and he probably gets beaten on points. So I think that goes one or two ways. I think the other one that just to give a quick mention to is the return of Alan the Savage Babbage. Um, humiliated a little bit last time out. He returns against um, a lad from Manic in the Woods, Steve Robinson. Um, good pro Steve, good guy, knows his limitations. I think this one will be explosive whilst it lasts. I don't see this one going beyond sort of two or three rounds. Probably see uh, the Savage coming back with a comeback victory. Um, and it'll be interesting to see where his career goes from here. Elsewhere, obviously, Ben Whitaker's on the card, uh, so it'll be interesting to see him again. Uh, Callum Simpson's fighting, uh, and Vidal Riley's in a, in a decent matchup as well, so that should be interesting to see. I hope everyone has a cracking Easter weekend. Enjoy the boxing. There's not just this card, there's a few cards on around the sort of world. Um, should be a good one.